This eerie and chilling photo of Philip Seymour Hoffman, taken at the Sundance Film Festival two weeks before his sudden death, may be one of the last taken of the Oscar-winning actor. New York police say they found nearly 50 envelopes containing what they believe to be heroin inside Hoffman's Manhattan apartment, labeled with the street name Ace of Spades. Also in his apartment, more than 20 used syringes in a plastic cup, several other bags containing white powder and prescription drugs. Police are trying to piece together the final moments of Hoffman's life, his Saturday beginning here at a local coffee shop. He seemed in good spirits. He was very happy, as you know, typical chatting with our staff. At 1.30 that afternoon, Hoffman's assistant spoke with him over the phone. Investigators say she said nothing seemed out of the ordinary. About a half hour later, investigators say Mimi O'Donnell, the actor's ex-partner and mother of his children, told them she saw Hoffman near his apartment, where he appeared to be, quote, high. Earlier that evening, Hoffman then had dinner at this local restaurant with two of his friends. I heard he had relapsed recently and he was having trouble, so it wasn't a total shock, but it's a sad thing. At 8 o'clock that night, O'Donnell said she spoke with Hoffman over the phone, telling investigators once again he seemed, quote, high. The next morning, around 9, Hoffman was expected to pick up their three children, but never showed. That's when O'Donnell called Hoffman's friend, playwright David Katz, to check on him. At 11 a.m., Katz found Hoffman in the bathroom of his fourth floor apartment with a needle in his left arm, wearing a t-shirt, shorts, and glasses still on his head. Minutes later, he was pronounced dead. And there was a laundry list of prescription drugs found in his apartment, including blood pressure medication, a muscle relaxer, and medication to treat addiction, attention deficit disorder, and anxiety.